She took Pakistan by storm with her last production, and now she's back with a show that's bigger, better, and so much more. Dita Bhatt is bringing to us a musical that made me cry, it made me laugh, and it made me sing. It is Mamma Mia, and I've got with me the one and only Nida Bhatt. Thank you hey. so much for that kind introduction. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to tell you, it is absolutely true, and I also have to tell you that I've caught a bit of the rehearsal, and it's definitely worth waiting for. So tell me, are you excited? Because I'm very excited. I am. I, it's, it's very exciting, and that's why, that's why I do it. I think it's the rush, the high, the adrenaline, you know, it's asking for a bit of a nervous breakdown. Right now, it's a very tense stage, though. You can see what's happening behind us. There are, what, three days left, and this is crunch time. You know, everything comes together. We're not so lucky as to get the auditorium weeks in advance, so we have four days to get the show up and show it to everybody. Wow, four days. So these guys basically started setting this up now, and... Yeah, they moved in here last night at 2 a.m., and uh, today is, well, day one after the first night, and we'll be here till Friday, and that's the red carpet. How about nerves? Do you feel nerves? Um, I feel, I think when you're so busy working, you don't get time to feel nervous, but of, of course there's that one moment in the day when you're sitting maybe in the car and you're going somewhere and suddenly it hits you, you know, that, oh my God, it's happening, it's happening on Friday and there's nothing you can do now. I mean, whatever you did in the last three months, that's what the audience will get, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be great. Tell me, you know, you, you're, are you working with a completely new cast this time? Do you have some of your old people? I do, I do. I have a lot of my own people, uh, old people from Chicago, which is excellent because, you know, you've developed a rapper with them and they understand you, you understand them. They know that they're kind of going to lead the way for the junior cast as well who don't really know what's going to happen. It's always a big shock. <laughs> so a, a lot of the old people are back. Um, this time, Bose is doing our sound, which is awesome. They've sponsored the whole event. I think the quality of sound, especially in the musicals, is so important. So hats off to those guys. It's an event for Special Olympics as well, which is a charity. And uh, um, Mrs. Rana Klakani and I have been working closely. RMC has been handling the marketing aspect. So I mean, we've got a nice big team of people on board now. Okay, you know, last time uh, when, when you did Chicago, right, which, which I loved, I have to say, I was one of those people with the standing ovation. Sweet. Yes, was <laughs> Poppy and I were sitting together and she was jumping out of her seat at any Excellent. given opportunity. <laughs> so, but a lot of people said that it was, you know, a musical is soulless and so on, but yeah. you didn't let that stop you. Oh, no, absolutely not. I mean, if people are saying that it's soulless, I think it's probably steep. Stemming out of envy or jealousy of nothing else. I mean, I have to be straight up about it. Nobody's done live music over here. You know, we're taking that step. We hope that artists in the community and other thespians would applaud that fact and, you know, maybe it'll set a trend as well. I remember there was a time when concerts were lip synced. You know, and it was okay for artists to lip sync in Pakistan. And then there came a time when it was no longer okay to be lip syncing your songs on stage and you'd get booed off stage. You know, these things take time. They take time. And, and uh, you had some difficulties as well. Is it, is it hard this time or is it much smoother? Well, you know, because we had difficulties last time, you know, with the location and the venue and the whole last minute thing, um, I think we've taken more precautions to ensure that we don't run into any such problems um, again, because you really need to have all your bases covered um, when you're trying to put up something of this scale. I got to ask you a, a little bit of a, you know, a yeah. tough or a little, you know, stressful kind of question. With security the way it is in Pakistan? Security is always a big thing. I think you're doing any public event in Pakistan, you really need to make sure that your security is um, up to the mark. You know, um, especially in the last year or so, I know a lot of performing hard theatres and, you know, halls have sort of been targeted a lot in Lahore. Um, so there's always that danger, but you take all the precautions. You want to be safe, you want to make sure your audience is safe, um, and you just want to ha make sure everyone has a good evening. And everybody's just going to have a blast. I have to ask you one last question. Um, is it intimidating to you that you're doing this musical that just came out with Meryl Streep and this major cast, and, you know, everybody loved it? <laughs>
not a disincentive, it's an incentive. Because A, it's fresh in people's minds. B, I know for a fact that the stage play is better than the movie. So if you <laughs> love the movie, you are absolutely you're going to jump out of your seat. It's a fun filmed family drama to the music of ABBA. You know, how much more lighthearted does it get? <laughs>